uh welcome to the channel if you guys stay tuned i'm going to show you a couple different things uh, i am going to show you the mural and stuff that i got going as well as pups and updates so if you stick around for a little while this is a little longer video but i hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned That's why he said, let the righteous be righteous, let the wicked be wicked. Leave them to what they're already doing. Spread the message. If they hear it, they hear it. If they don't, they don't. Move on. Knock the dust off your shoes and keep on hitting the road, man. All right, guys. Thank you. I hope you have a great day. I do have a few things planned here. Uh, I'm going to be working on a mural. And let me show you that real quick. All right, so this is going to be my new logo. Um, I'm going to be airbrushing this in, on the wall in the dog area and I have to rework and get set up for dough so we're going to do that too. But if you guys would like to see this I guess as I'm doing it let me know. I thought about videoing it but sometimes that becomes a big pain in the butt too and it takes me away from focusing on just painting it. Um, I don't think it'll take me real long probably I, I think I can get it looking really awesome in a day. Um, I sat up late one night. Here, I'll show you how I did it. This is how I did it, okay? I'll teach you. I sat real late one night and I drew half of it, okay? And that's what I came up with. In the middle, you see the, the symbol, right? Well, my company used to be Del Rayleigh, so I had a broken heart because I shut all that down. So it's a backwards D and an R. Um, I then decided to change it later, but I drew that, stayed up till like three in the morning drawing that. And then I, I lined it to where the other side, you know, where I knew it would fit. Cause I'm actually designing this to be a tattoo on my chest. So here you have, uh, well, my, my nipples. And then you'll have the chest piece. Now I had marks of where my other tattoos already are. I have tattoos on the shoulders here and here. So then what'll happen this is my armor of God. This is the last piece of it, okay? Or, well, probably the last piece of it. So, yeah, it's gonna be this on my chest and then tied into my shoulder tattoos. Um, and I, I don't like, I didn't want a bunch of stuff there, but I'm gonna fade in some other things. I don't know what yet. This though, this is gonna be, you know, for our, our channel as long as we live here. Uh, when we move, I'll have to do something different, but for now, it's just going it, to, it'll be our logo and, you know, for Bibles and Bullies and kind of cool thing I do, I didn't plan it, but when I named the channel, you know, Bibles and Bullies, and then I started doing like research by numbers. So it's called Gematria, right? Well, I looked up Bibles and Bullies and the number for it is 888. And I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. So I may tie that in there somewhere. Um, I mean, it's just, it's a story of my life, guys. My tattoos, they tell a story of my life, okay? Um, I've been given some information, I guess, insight from spirit or whatever it is, you know, hopefully from God about tattoos. But I don't know. It, it, it's a good thing, but it's a dark thing. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I've, I've, I've always told my children, don't get tattoos. And my son, Dylan... He said if he ever gets one, he only wanted one, and that was a, a cross on his chest, and that really touched my heart. So, you know, this is what I came up with for me. Um, I needed as much lifting as I could get. That's why there's six wings on this thing. That's why there's a dragonfly on this thing. That's why I have flaming shoulders on this thing. I'm going to have feathers. Uh, they're going to be, it's going to be really cool. I'm going to airbrush this. 
the heart's metal, kind of like the Tin Man. And as you see, it's pinned inside, like it's in there, okay? It was pieced together. It wasn't one solid piece. He had to piece it together for me. It was all over the place, man. It was scattered. It was broken, okay? This tells my story in a lot of ways. A picture's worth a thousand words. This one's worth many, many more. I promise you. Um, I hope you guys like what I do. I hope you enjoy my channel. I hope you enjoy the artwork. Um, yeah, this is just what I have going on. I need to get going on it. I've been lacking motivation a little bit. So you guys do me a favor. Drop a comment. Let me know if you'd like to watch it. And stay tuned, and I'm going to show you a bunch for what's going on with the dogs. Have a great day, everybody. See you soon. Welcome to the channel, Bibles and Bullies. Uh, got a fire going. Replaced some fence boards again. So getting all those burned along with our paper trash. Got the pups outside and playing. As always, they're out every day, all day. Let's see if I come on pups get away from the fire oh you don't want that mess huh yeah had a lot of interest in the last few days for this guy wish right here uh, polar this is his sister polar right here and where is right here that little boy TP right here so TP is currently 1k as a pet if you want rights that's fine but as a pet he's 1k uh tripolar is 2k as a pet and wish is currently 1500 as a pet uh currently any of my dogs with rights are at 3k for pups um that isn't always the case okay I had a lot of puppies, so I had to adjust my prices accordingly this time. Uh, we're getting everything on order. We had to order another three kennels. Because um, <clears throat> these guys are outgrowing the other ones. So, yeah. If you're interested, let me know. They're beautiful dogs. American Bullies. Um, the Black Tries right here. Their dad is Champion Loso. And their mom is Nehi. Uh, Nehi has moved on to her forever home. She's retired. And then for the black pups, uh, their mom is Bustello. She's still here, but she is retired. And their dad is Grand Champion Jaws. Um, that little boy is going to Minnesota. He's t spoken for. This girl is available. Uh, she does have a slight kink in her tail. And I can kind of try to show you if she'll let me. But... It's right, at, right there towards the end. Um, she's beautiful other than that. That is a fault. That is not a disqualification in the show ring. Um, it's purely going to be a judge preference whether they hold that against her or not. If the structure outweighs that fault, she would still make champion and so on. That's how that works, guys. Uh, Alright, so yeah, I've got a few still available. I think five right now. We're keeping four. And one is spoken for, like I said, uh, that boy right there in my shadow, right there, he's spoken for. Um, I have three black tries and two ghost black tries. So this big boy right here is available. And then his sister that I just showed you um, with the slight pink. So that's it. Oh, and uh, for price wise, they're both 2K as a pet. Um, if you want rights again, 3K. That's pretty much where it's at. There's only two boys discounted right now, and that is because I really need to find homes still. So this little guy is 1500 and his brother is 1K. Um, if I sell his brother, then all of the puppies are going up to 2K, okay, as a pet. Uh, I have a litter coming next week. You can expect 3 to 5K on that for pricing. First and second pick are already taken. Uh, that is Champion Loso to my girl Doe. And she's not out here, but let me let her out so you can see how big she's getting. Hold on. All right, let's get this big mama out. I have to get her situated very soon. She's due on the 11th. Come on, Doe. 
I'm not going to put her in the back right now. She was just out with everybody, and she don't like being out with all the pups right now because she's getting big, guys. Like, doe is getting huge. So she's full. Uh, she's due next week. If you are interested, um, let me know. But I'm not going to accept deposits until puppies are on ground. And like I said, first and second pick are spoken for. So if you are interested, you know, subscribe, like the channel, make sure you're paying attention. Um, she is a chumper overload for pedigree. So her granddad is grand champion Jaws. Her mom is champion Cookie, who was Jaws' first daughter. Her dad is champion Homicide, who is grand champion Jaws' brother. So... That makes Jaws her uncle grandpa. That's right. You want to go up back? Come on. We can go up back. But as you see, uh, she's huge. She is one of Loso's best breedings that I've done. Um, they should be phenomenal. And if you guys are liking what you see so far, they should be better. I hope. There's no guarantee, of course. We never know how, you know, breedings are going to click exactly, but... For what I've seen Loso produce so far, I believe him and her are going to do very well together. Um, it was natural breeding. They did great together. They tied for three days, and we separated them after that. And, uh, yeah, it's going well. So, like I said, that's why I have the boys discounted where they are. They will not stay at that because I've already ordered, ordered kennels, so we have room now. Um... That was my main concern. I had to get some dogs out of here. I moved out a few, and uh, I still have a few more to go, which is fine. But like I said, there's one for 1K. His brother's 1,500 right here. He's 1,500 as a pet now. That's not as a show breeder. This guy right here is 1K. Their sister is 2K as a pet. Those are pet prices. That means you have to spay or neuter it. If you want the puppy with full rights, meaning you can breed it, show it, do whatever you want to, then it is 3K currently on all the ones that you see. That is non-negotiable. That's as low as I'm going to go. If you want ears done, that's $300. Um, and if you want uh, delivery, I can offer you that as well. I'm trying to be fair on it, but understand gas fuel or fuel prices are super high. Let's go Brandon, right? And uh, so keep that in mind. Um, I've had people in California, all over the country, uh, North Carolina, Texas, so on. There's interest. It's one of the challenges right now is shipping, as we know, for everyone, for everything. And our economy is going skyrocketing. They're doing this on purpose, guys. I promise you that. They don't like you, or they don't like me when I tell you the truth. So they start blocking my stuff. So here and there, I slip it in with dogs, you know. Because I'm kind of one of those guys where I think God gave us these for a reason. And out of all the animals I've seen, they're the most like him. They're loyal to the point of death, even if you beat them, starve them, or whatever you do. Well, our Father in Heaven is the same way. You can starve him from your love. You can deny him of the truth. But he'll still love you. There may come a time, though, where he's going to show you what's up. And it's your choice at that point to listen or reject him. I hope you guys listen, man. I hope you like the channel. Please like and subscribe. We got babies on the way again. Um, I will plan C-section for her because she is pretty large. Well, I'll talk to my vet, and whatever he recommends, we'll go with. Um, they've always done us very well. Hope you guys enjoy the pups, as always. Um, hope you enjoy the channel. That's enough for me. Have a great day, and we will see you guys soon. Knock it off, pups. Hey, get up, boy. Cut it out. Good boy. They listen very well, by the way. So, if you, uh, most of them are kennel trained. Two of them are not going in their kennel. They'll hold it. PN crap, they're not going at all. Uh, the ever, other eight are still having accidents, but that's because we put them up about 9 o'clock at night, and they don't come out until about 8 in the morning, so... They're in their kennel for 11 hours. The fact that two of them held it for 11 hours is absolutely amazing. Um, and that was the big girls, Lightning and Thunder. Bustella's daughters. I think they're over here fighting. Yeah. 
Well, not fighting. You, you guys know what I mean. These guys play rough. I do not allow fighting. That is not allowed. This is lightning. She's a big girl. Uh, and her brother Boots. He's a big boy. Um, the other ones are staying a little more compact. They're also two and a half weeks younger, so keep that in mind. You know, they're not exactly the same age. The black ones are two and a half weeks older. And Buster, right there, the black big boy right here, he is their full-blooded brother, meaning same mom, same dad. He's just two years older than Lightning, uh, Boots, and wherever Thunder and uh, Scoot are. That's TP. He's 1K. He's the one I've been showing you. This is Wish. He's 1500. His sister, Polar, 2K. She's a beast too. She's going to be a big boned up girl. She's just like her mama knee high, like sweet as can be and thick as can be. So no matter where, which one you pick, you're not going wrong. I staggered their prices because of, I mean, very fine differences in structure. That's what it came down to. This boy is the most, has the most show potential of the two okay so that's why he's higher and that's how i price you know as i see him age and develop sometimes i change or if my situation changes like like i said we needed room then i have to make decisions and and adjustments and so on depending on what we need here my first and foremost concern is the care of my dogs and kids well kids and family first dog second but you guys have to understand this is a full-time job. I sit with these dogs when I'm home almost all day every day. And I work with them, play with them. I get down on the concrete and lay with them. Mika, come here. Come here, girl. Sit down. Mika. Sit down. Mika. Get down. Get down. All the way. Good girl. See? That's why the Mika will inherit the earth. Because the meek are going to inherit the earth, guys. Come on now. It's in your Bibles. I make jokes about it, but he's already told you, man. Yep. Because she's meek. Like, she, she will instantly submit to me. That is, she knows I'm the alpha. But she runs my yard. She watches out. She takes care of stuff. She trains. Like, she's an awesome girl. And she's still a baby. Huh, girl? Yeah, you're still a baby. This is Mika, guys. One of, uh, beautiful girl. We almost got rid of her just because we don't have the land, but I don't think I can do it. Um, we're going to try to find something bigger for land. Not house, just land. We need more land. It's not enough for these guys to run around, and that's where I'm running into constraints as far as who I can keep and who has to go. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I'm pretty open. I'm pretty honest. If you call me, email me, talk to me, whatever, you know, uh, I'm going to tell you guys the same as I tell you on here. This is who I am. Um, I'm not going to hide things from you. I'm not going to lie to you because at the end of the day, I have phenomenal dogs. They're amazing bloodlines. I don't push the pedigrees down your throat, but Loso is prim primarily razor's edge. Okay. Um, then Nehi, who's the black tri pups, she was like a lot of Dax and different stuff like that in her history. So she had um, amazing, the, the pedigrees are there, guys, okay? I, I, I do not have crap in my pedigrees. I just don't sell you on pedigree. I sell you on the dog itself. And I'm actually undercutting myself right now in what I'm charging. And I know that, but it's for a purpose, okay? Like, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's more important for me to have these guys in really good pet homes than be, uh, well, stuck here with everyone where I can't focus as much or, you know, in a, a kennel somewhere. And as far as, like, shelters and stuff like that, man, if you can't afford a bully, I highly recommend you guys go to a shelter, okay? Like, I don't, I'm not against that. Those people do wonderful things. I know several of them. Um, we all get along just fine because I know I've tried to rescue and I will rescue animals too when I'm able to, but I don't have the room now. And that's, again, my problem. So we're working on it. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day, but, uh, you know, the temple was destroyed in one. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. 
takes a long time to build it guys it takes a short time to destroy it love each other love your earth love god love your dogs love your animals love your kids love everything that's the message the truth will set you free but it is super ugly guys like very very ugly and for real every time i tell you they're just gonna block me so we'll uh you know al go rhythm so to say get around the algo the algo rhythm yeah you got to switch it up a little bit change it uh, do things a little different in order for people to hear and that's why uh christ taught in parables he spoke in code and so on because he had to get around things he had to tell you the truth to set you free but he had to get around everybody trying to keep them silenced, kill them, and everything else. And it's no different in today's world. We're no different. You can look in politics and so on, and you see all those people that, oh, just, you know, they hung themselves on a doorknob. Yeah, okay. First off, that's not possible. Your, uh, your body's flight or flight, fight or flight reflex, meaning the flight specifically, would kick in the survival mode. There's no way you can hang yourself on a doorknob. So if that ever happens to me, I'd end up staying myself. <laughs> Just saying, you know. If it doesn't, cool. I'll still be here telling you truth. One way or the other. Whether it be about dogs, God, or all the above. I hope you guys have a great day. That is enough babbling for me. We don't need any Babylon going on here. So.